Uh, so I think that the RX-782 design is pretty nice. It's a little blocky, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting colors, um, if you think about it, for a robot. But I do love it. But I also love the other RX-78 Gundams uh, that came afterwards, because this is number two. Let's take a look at number six, the Mudrock. Now, the high-grade Mudrock is a P-Bandai, and that annoys me, uh, because there's... The only parts I think that were reused in this kit are the joints. I think they're from some of the older gems nowadays. Um, just because you got that uh, rotation here below the elbow. It's it's different, but it's still very good in our terms of articulation. But uh, BMP Bandai, you know, you'd hope they would release it normally. Um, not really any stickers. The cameras, of course. But then you also have... I love the fact that they're using the uh, red triangle for the 6 here just like they did with the Alex, uh, another model that's really, uh, really good. Well, I really like it for the time. Um, and this is the complete variation. There is uh, an incomplete version you could get, you could do, you just had uh, white shoulders, and you didn't have to have these leg thrusters, you just had an extra calf panel without the hole. And then, now you got maneuverable, and then they're supposed to be maneuverable, they say so in the, in the wiki. But yeah, it looks good. More verniers on the shoulders. Yeah, I really like it. And apparently this mobile suit was made to um, counter the problem with the RX-72 of not having enough weapons. So you get the over-the-shoulder cannons, much like the gun cannon. And they're pretty pretty good up and down. It would have been nice if they could have got in and out some. I think there's a little bit of wiggle, but you're not really getting anything different. A little bit, but not much. But it would be nice if they could maybe had another hinge. Eh, it's hard to say. But I like the beam sabers that are mounted directly above them. And because it, I think it's a good thing that it has this gem articulation because it, it makes it easier for the uh, Gundam to kind of like grab the beam saber from over the uh, shoulder. That is nice. Uh, the suit also has grenade launchers. I believe there's eight missiles in here, if I, if I remember correctly. So that's nice for the Alex, once again, the Alex has the pop-up uh, Gatling guns in the arms, well this one has grenades. Sure, why not? And you've also got um, a gem shield. Just have the Federation sticker there. And I like the fact that it's ball jointed, the connector that goes into the shield, but I'm not a big fan of how it goes onto the arm. It, I, a lot of kits that do this, where instead of having a hole on the underside or the side, it's an indent right there, and then you have this extra little piece protruding out that is supposed to clip around it and it does but it doesn't take much to knock it off it's uh if you're not gonna do anything with it you pose it on a shelf yeah that's fine no problem it's not gonna fall it's not gonna like eventually turn itself or something because it's not heavy but yeah it just doesn't take much so a little annoying and it has to be in the exact right position where that indent is and finally we got the beam rifle which is a little unique it's got this weird uh double Whatever the hell that is, two maybe it's two ammo clips. It's got this a uh, barrel. I like the fact that the barrel's white with the black beam rifle because it's very reminiscent of the cannon uh, setup here. You got the white beam saber with the black base. Well, I'm assuming that was intentional. I like it. And it just goes in. Now it's molded very nicely to go into the hand. So some kits have uh, pegs in the hands, even like high grades, but not not uh, not all the time. But as you can see, very tight fit, no problem. Just whoops, just barely enough space to get that gun in there. It just it just rubs right up against the uh, the great piece where the grenade launchers are supposed to be. And yeah, uh, once again that great articulation for like using older joints. It's still really good. Looks great. Love it. It just, uh, it's cool to have these together, get all the Gundam variants and have them, like, on a shelf together to see how it's evolved. So yeah, number two, number six. And they're both great.